So the movie has a great <laughs> cast. What would you say is your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? My funniest, most memorable moment? I mean, we lived together in the camp that we were filming in. Every single Saturday night, which is our only night off because we work six day weeks uh, and a 23 day shoot. Sasha and I would throw these dance parties in the main lobby of this camp that we were living in. So I would DJ and Sasha would start off with the dance battles and that would be what we did every single Saturday night. It was very fun. This sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you lived together. Yes, we all lived. We were filming in the rooms that we were like living in, so it was immersive. Do you have a favorite go-to tune? Obviously, like everything Missy Elliott, followed by TLC, Destiny's Child. Like you know, what I mean, the heavy hitters. And you were taking part in the dance battles as well. Oh yeah, for sure. But she definitely like was at the helm, and I would be the uh, auxiliary chord DJ. So we loved your chemistry with Coley. How did you guys bond together before filming? You know, she was just a really wonderful woman. She's an incredible incredible filmmaker herself and I really respected her and she jumped into this role I and mean, we had met each other 24 hours before filming. It was a very much so a shotgun shoot so I think that added to the organic sensibility that you feel on screen. So your intimate scenes are very realistic, can you talk us through what they were like to film? I've been doing uh, sex scenes in movies since I was 16 but this is the first one that I had ever done where it was directed by a woman and the entire sentiment of filming it was completely different. She, Desiree Akhavan, our director, was so incredibly confident in giving Quinn and I the reins on making sure that we could depict what we needed to depict in this, instead of micromanaging, which had happened in every other movie I'd done. And how awkward is it? Like, are you doing retakes again and again, or are you, what do you do when they're called cut? Do you just sit there like, huh? You know, it's an incredibly intimate process, so what was nice about this is Desi literally made herself scarce and made the entire crew disappear, so it was just Quinn and I and our DP, who was the camera operator. So it was very normal. Why would you say talking about the issue of gay conversion therapy is still so relevant? You know, I think it's a massive issue in America because it's a lot of it is based on fear. People react out of fear to things that they are unaware of or don't feel within themselves, and ultimately, you know, they react in a negative way, and these camps prey on fear. 